two other stats that Mitchell continues to increase. Free throws made and three-pointers made, Doris. Well, those are two hallmarks of efficient scoring in the modern NBA. It's not about scoring with volume, right? He can do that. But Mitchell surpassing Carl Malone for the most 30-point games in Jazz franchise history for a player before his 25th birthday. Think about that. Whole team foul. First personal foul. Second team foul. Here's Conley. Outside Bogdanovich. Back to Conley. Outside Mitchell. Pass to Bogdanovich. Shot clock at five. Back to Mitchell. Three-pointer. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. An outstanding first quarter from the field. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Well, wow. How about that fantastic look by Steph Curry? The ability to create and make the guys around him better. And here's Mitchell. He's got five. Pulls it. LeBron with the rebound. And for him, that's a great look. Expect him to go right back to it if it's available. Come on, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't game. fall. Boy, some coaches starting to feel the hot seat now, Grant. You think players are aware when that's the case? No question, B.A. I mean, with how the present media is, it's impossible not to notice. But some coaches will discuss My it God. and be open and transparent about it. And, of course, some coaches won't ever bring it up. <laughs> An excellent perimeter offense so far. Their shooters are clearly in a great rhythm. Here's Curry, and he sinks the 11-footer. Curry's got his second basket. This is where Steph Curry, that in-between game, that ability to balance the three and the drive with this space right here. Now here's Mitchell. Poke loose. James with the ball. Guarded now by Mitchell. And here they come. Here's Smooth. Three shots, three baskets. Great efficiency so far. A sharp steal and some quick offense cuts it down to a one-possession game. Well done. Utah leading. Now Mitchell, outside Conley. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes played. Here's Gobert. Good work defensively by James. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Oh, he powers right through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul, too. And he'll go to the line. It goes on Mike Conley. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Jazz. They definitely had a hot hand from three-point range to this point. Always nice to start out like that. I think the other thing they've had going for them is their passing. Plenty of their baskets have come off assists. And it's tied up with that one. And the longevity of LeBron's greatness is unprecedented. The oldest starter in the league last season and still producing at an MVP level. And that's a foul called on Stephen Curry. That's his first foul. Outside Bogdanovich. Outside Mitchell. Pass to Conley. Pulls up. That one falls. Nice setup by Mitchell. Conley's got his third bucket of the night. And what's incredible for LeBron is not just how good he is at his age, but the mileage on his body grip. So true, B.A. I mean, just three players in NBA history have exceeded 60,000 minutes played, including the playoffs. That's Kareem, Carl Malone, and the one and only LeBron James. Drains the triple. Three points. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. And slam dunk by James. And LeBron makes that insane dribble move look so effortless. What a showman he is. Bogdanovich from long range. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. And that's a foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That's his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Out to Harris. Here's James. 
Three shots, three baskets. Great efficiency so far. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Conley against Curry. Curry with a seal. Pass to Smooth. He's got it. Four for four now. He's automatic. They have no answer defensively inside. And so it's Utah with it. Here's O'Neal. Outside for Mitchell. And again, it's Utah with a three. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. It's quickly with a drive. Harris outside. Conley against Curry. James, left side. Quickly, outside. Six to shoot. Here's Smooth. And he makes it on the layup. Ten points for him. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Mitchell, the pass to Gobert. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free-throw line. Personal foul. Wreaking havoc with his size down At there. The, the stifle power Rudy, Rudy Gobert assertive. Go My goodness. And he can't get the first one. Good on the second one. The three from Curry. Ooh, he drains the three. But let's see. They may need to review it. I'm not sure the ball was out of his hand in time. And it looks like they are going to review the play. The question, did he get the basket off in time or not? Yeah, they're going to review that shot to make sure he got it off in time. But I think it's going to count. And after reviewing the play, it looks like they're overturning the call here. That basket is good. It would have been a real shame if those points didn't count. I'm so glad the officials were able to take a second look and make the right call. Well, it's been a high-scoring, competitive game through the first quarter of play. They're up by one. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. getting it going again here in the second quarter fairly close game so far and from what we've seen here from the home team what should take so far it's all about the strong inside out game in the first period it really helped them get some clean looks down low it is great when you can get that established early because to me it opens up every other aspect of your game on the floor for utah getting going in the second they've got rudy gay Mike Conley out there with Jordan Clarkson. Then there's Hassan Whiteside, and it's Ingles in at small forward. To the inside, and Whiteside gets the double team. And a missed layup. James, outside. Here he goes, and slam dunk by James. Uh, just fluidity that LeBron plays with. His ability to change direction on a drive so quickly. Incredible. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Brian, we know that Stephen Curry generally is regarded as the greatest shooter the game has ever known. He said for him, quote, it starts with a great base and foundation and allows everything to feel perfect. The perfect shot feels effortless to me. Serene and quiet. It's only me, the rim, and the basketball. Powerful words from Stephen. It is a thing of beauty, Ali. Excellent. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Conley against Curry. From behind the arc. And Conley with the three. Conley's got 11 points. He nailed two from distance in the opening period. Now gets this one. Shots good by James. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Utah trailing here. Timeout, timeout. And Utah calls time here. 
Well, the pace of the game has picked up over the years. Grant, you played on teams that played all styles. Did you sense the direction the game was going in? Yeah, towards the end of my career, B.A., you could see that the up-tempo teams got more and more successful. So it was inevitable that other teams would follow suit. As we know, trends catch on fast and quick in the NBA. Second quarter here, just over a minute and a half played. And it's Clarkson missing. James with the ball, now guarded by Gay. James, right side. And it's James with the jam. This is where the defense says, uh-oh, because LeBron James is cooking. The Jazz on offense. Six-point game. Quickly against Conley. Tipped away. On the wing, Clarkson. Let's go with a three. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Conley's got his third assist of the night. Boy, in recent years, Mike Conley taking more shots from long range. But make no mistake, this guy able to score at every single level. Outside Conley. Clarkson passes to Conley. James brings the double team. Whiteside can't get it to go. And Doris, you look at the shooting numbers for Conley. He can hurt you from deep and everywhere in between. Well, it's easy to, quote, get to your spot when you have so many spots on the floor. Yes. At the same yeah. time, I feel like Conley does such a great job balancing scoring and setting the table for his teammates. Clarkson passes to Whiteside. Clarkson outside. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. Clarkson's got his second basket on the night. And out of bounds. The Jazz will take it. Conley with the ball. He's got 11 on the wing, Ingles. No! They're unable to get the tying basket there. Inside. Ooh, what a play. Just palms the block. Clarkson for three. The shot won't fall. Here's Smooth. Defended by Whiteside. Harris passes to Curry. Curry draws the double. Here's Smooth. And Whiteside with a block. And that's out of bounds. It was last touch by Whiteside. Mitchell's checked in for Utah. Just five on the clock. Here's Smooth, and the shot is good. Harris making the play. 14 points for him. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Conley finds Gay. They double him with Harris. The three from Mitchell nails it from three. Mitchell. Mitchell's got 11 points. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Here's James, using his post moves to get the two points. Boy, the poise, the concentration. LeBron James, so gifted, so big. Pass to Whiteside. Mitchell with the ball. There's the triple. And Conley gets it to go. The assist by Mitchell. And they're going to have to pay more attention to him on the perimeter. He's hit four three-pointers already today. Out of bounds, it'll be Utah's ball. Utah ball. All right, the Jazz making a change here. Bogdanovich has checked in. Bogdanovich. Here's Mitchell. 
He's got 11. Oh, and that's a foul. Called on Stephen Curry. That'll be a second foul of the game. Well, that's two fouls on him early. He'll have to be careful not to pick up another one. Rudy Gobert's checked in for Utah. Clarkson passes to Whiteside. Clarkson outside. Connects from downtown. Clarkson's got his third basket on the night right there. Well, a tough first quarter for this guy. You like to see the shot go in. Nicely done. Harris on the wing. Here's Smooth. Rebounded by the Jazz. Gobert's got his fifth rebound in this one. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Here's Whiteside. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy passes. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. 30 seconds left in the second. Here's Curry. That one goes. Count it. Curry's got nine points. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Mitchell against quickly. Pass to Bogdanovich. Offensive rebound. Here's Whiteside. Here's Gobert. Oh, persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Gobert's gotten his second bucket. Well, Gobert is seven foot one, and that in and of itself means he's difficult to contain. This guy really understanding how to play through contact. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. Jazz out in front. They're up by one. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. The first half went really well for Mike Conley. He had 14 points and four assists. He came in with something to prove tonight after having a very tough outing in their last game. What did you think about Utah, Kenny? We have to love the second game. I mean, the effort they displayed, they're doing much more than giving the start at the break. We're seeing real intensity from them, particularly on the offense. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. I like how they're working the ball on that low and finding the leaders. They may be tempted to switch things up in the second half, but I say stick with it. Force the other team to adjust to the way you play. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. After a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. You know, LeBron James has been exceptional here, guys. The numbers say it all. He spent the first half playing efficient ball. I think they've taken their time. They've showed incredible patience. It's a sign of a well-coached ball club. They've got Stephen Curry. He's out there with Emmanuel quickly. Jeremy Lamb is out there with Joe Harris. And it's smooth in a power forward. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. And he drops it first. You know, Doris, Jeremy Lamb has developed some really impressive accuracy, even at deep range. Right, he certainly has. His confidence from way out there in three-point land is really something. Even under pressure, he's proven he can deliver from beyond the arc. And sometimes those are the shots that decide the outcome of the game. So the Jazz five right now. Mitchell and Bogdanovich fill the wings. O'Neal is at power forward with Gobert anchoring at center. And it's Whiteside in at the point. Pass to Curry. Out to Harris. On the wing quickly. Here's Smooth. Sinks it from distance. He's got 17. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Now, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. And yep, it's good. Well, how about the court awareness from Bogdanovich showing off his ability to find the open man, Kev? Curry with it, and it's Gobert picking him up. Yep, that one goes. 19 points in the game. Assertive move. 
You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Pass to Gobert. Back to Mitchell. The jump hook. Here's Whiteside. And it's Whiteside with a big finish. <laughs> and when the game is this close, you have to go all out. He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, just crashes the offensive glass. And that's so demoralizing to your opponent. To play great defense and have the possession end that way, that's tough to take. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a really close game. Out. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. Well, we see a lot of emphasis on three-point shooting nowadays, but you'll take that look right there any night of the week. They get it back. Here's Lamb. The shot from the low post is good. Lamb's got six points. Well, you have to be cognizant of where people are when the shot goes up. Defenders not blocking out in that instance. To the paint. Here's Bogdanovich. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. Mitchell's got six assists here tonight. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. Well, put all that size to good use. Rip it off the backboard. Pass to Mitchell. Over Lamb. Up again. It's good on the putback. And that'll tie this game up. I always love the hard work on the glass. Just great activity. Lamb. And he lays it up and in. Give him eight. And so it's Utah with it. And here's Mitchell. Back to O'Neal. Pass to Gobert. The three from Mitchell. Buckets. He's now six of ten from the field. Knocks that one down. Four triples for the night. Three in the first half. On the attack, Curry. Out to Harris. Here's Quickly. Here's Smooth. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Pass to O'Neal. Now here's Whiteside. Outside Bogdanovich. The three from Mitchell. Goes back up. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Oh, he'll wear you down with the way he grinds it out on the offensive glass. Hassan Whiteside. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Utah? What a tremendous showing from three-point land all through this game, guys. Yeah, something else that stands out tonight is how many assists they have. Clarkson's checked in for Utah. Conley comes in for Rudy Gobert. Has to smooth. O'Neal pulls it in. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. A oh, nice shot by Mitchell. Making his mark from long range today. That's his second triple of the half, his fifth overall. Well, despite all he's accomplished, Donovan Mitchell hasn't escaped criticism. Those saying he doesn't have what it takes to get to the next level. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he's not letting it phase him, though. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. That's a look he couldn't pass up. He just couldn't get it to go. Lamb finds Harris. Will it go? And it's blocked by Whiteside. Just Tough Harris. break for the defense. Second I mean, he to took the foul. hit, but he Second didn't get the call. Foul. And Grant, you talk about that criticism. Mitchell defense. says he's fueled by Jordan it. But you know, it's not all hate. There's a lot of people saying Mitchell is Dwayne Wade 2.0. Yeah, I mean, both super athletic combo guards. Mitchell, at this point, is a better outside shooter. Wade, a better passer and defender. Look, I'm still taking Wade, but Mitchell is every bit of a star player in this league. Utah leading. Pass to Mitchell. 50 seconds left in the third. The Jazz, again, can't hit. Quickly, outside. Fires from deep. Curry's shot is off. 
Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is, too. Here's Smooth. Drops one in from the wing. Give him 23. Yeah, just doing his part. Staying active and converting at a high rate. And he has really Pro kept them in this one. The Stephen high Curry. effort level. Third now the rest foul. of the team has got Third to step up. Foul. He's such a good free throw shooter. Shooting for you, you don't want to foul Donald him unless it's control. absolutely at necessary. And really strong at the line since the break. It is still amazing to me that in 2017, Donovan Mitchell wasn't even a top 10 pick. If you had a redraft, he'd likely go top two. Absolutely incredible. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. I tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we approach the fourth. Jazz out in front, up six. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. I'll tell you, in today's game, you want skill and decision-making at every position. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. We've got Joe Harris. Emmanuel quickly is out there with Stephen Curry. Then there's Jeremy Lamb, and it's smooth in at the four-man position. The shot by Conley, no good. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Here's Lamb. Kicks it to quickly. From deep three-point range. The shot off that time. Utah with the ball. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. If you see Donovan Mitchell finding his rhythm, you're in for a long night. He is effortless offensively. Knocks it down. Distance. And defensively, how do you leave him that open in crunch time? The three is up. Lamb grabs the miss. From deep. Smooth shot is good. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And this is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance. He knows it's winning time. Curry against Clarkson. The three from Mitchell. He buries it from three. Mitchell's got five points now in the quarter. He hit three triples in the first half. Three more since. <laughs> That's nothing to shrug at. Takes a three. Utah with the rebound. Gay with the ball. Guarded by Lamb. Pass to Pascal. Gay against Quickly. Now here's Lamb. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. And the basket is good. He got it to go, and he took the bump. So a free throw is coming up. An opportunity at a three-point play. A different look for Utah. Gobert's checked in for Pascal, and Bogdanovich is subbed in for Clarkson. Two shots. And the free throw, no good. Boy, I give Rudy Gobert a lot of credit for how he responded after the early days of COVID. This guy was made a scapegoat, and he was the first player to test positive. But this guy has come back stronger from adversity. You have to love that. And out of bounds. The Jazz will take it. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages him to keep attacking on the offensive end. 4-3. Yes, great play by Conley to set it up. Conley's got six assists in the game. 
And Gobert wore it for that unfortunate joke with reporters. But lest we forget, he apologized and donated over half a million dollars to COVID relief. Well, incredible to take what was a tough moment in his career, have the maturity to talk to his teammates, try to heal any rift there, and it shows you what Rudy Gobert is all about. And here's Curry for three. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Mitchell, good. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. This is good work there as it goes. Well, he's still battling, doing everything possible to keep them in this game. On offense, here's Utah. They're on a 13-4 run. And Jeremy Lamb picks up the foul. That's his first foul. O'Neal, he's checked in for Gay. Now into the lineup for the A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. And it's good for two. And I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. Curry goes in. And the shot goes in. Boy, there's a level of physicality that Steph Curry is displaying. A hard drive through some contact, hard-earned basket. Curry's gotten six of his 11 attempts to go from the field tonight. Quickly against Mitchell. Knocked away. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Here's quickly. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Transition basketball, the most reliable way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Two open that time. Made it look easy. Mitchell's got 13 points in this quarter. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. And Mitchell with the slam. Well, if you don't stay in front and you allow him room to drive, you will pay the consequence. Donovan Mitchell with authority. Conley against Curry. Pass to Bogdanovich. Back to Mitchell. Here's Bogdanovich. From deep, Conley. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. And the distance between the point totals for these teams tells the whole story. Just a fantastic effort, and you have to give it up for the Jazz. Jazz foul. Man, they were in a groove from long range tonight. Yeah, they were able to find space, and they were ready to let it fly the moment they saw an opening. And so this will lock down their 15th win of the year. And this team really wanted to at least split this season series. And what a huge performance it was for Donovan Mitchell. A quality Both offensive team outing. Team when you get it going like he did, I'll tell you, it's one Second of the best feelings ball. in basketball. Gaze checked in for Jazz. Utah. Rudy Gay. 102 left to play in the fourth. Here's Conley. Gobert passes to Pascal. Gay outside. Tries again. Quickly with a rebound. Here's Smooth. Defended by Gay. Smooth. No good. And the Jazz pushing it up now. Pascal passes to Conley. Gay outside. Pass to Ingles. From deep, Conley gets the three ball to go. And the Jazz lead by 18. What a performance tonight. Getting a win like this on the road is such a boost. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. Smooth, no good. Gay, the pass to Conley. And so it's Utah easily grabbing this one. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. Now, shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? 
Mike, congrats on the win. What's it like playing with a team that is this tied together? I feel great, man. It's fun. It's fun to be around these guys. It's fun to, to play jazz basketball when that ball moves and guys are so unselfish. And, um, you know, that's why I'm here. I love to be a part of it. You can tell you're clicking on all cylinders. Allie, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. So long, everyone. Welcome to an all new episode of NBA 2K TV. We have an amazing show for you this week, so let's jump right in. First up, all-star and NBA legend Charles Oakley just released a new book, The Last Enforcer, which is a memoir packed with personal stories, but also insight and perspective on the ongoing pursuit of social justice in this country. We caught up with him this week. Take a look. Welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Hi everyone, greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldrin. For the Milwaukee Bucks, they come in off a good outing against Toronto. Well, it's easy to score when you're facing very little resistance. That's why their offense looks so good in that one. Well, I think it was a combination of things, quite honestly, but the defense didn't really offer them a challenge all night. I agree with that. Now, the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. And forward, they have Middleton and Giannis. At the guard position, Holiday and DiVincenzo. And it's Portis in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Well, I tell you what, Curry is such a tremendous perimeter shooter that I think his ability to set up teammates and his unselfishness are often underrated. In last season, Middleton adding to his game played more of a playmaking role. Great assist numbers for him. He does not lack for confidence, and he shouldn't. I mean, this guy is a dangerous scorer. Here's DiVincenzo following the basket by Stephen Curry. Out of the Kumbo finds Holiday. It's tipped. They get it back. A shot by Middleton. Wide open. Bangs home. Effect up. Middleton's got five points so far. Pass to Harris. James outside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. foul. First team foul. And for Middleton, he is not the primary ball. But Greg, he can fill in from time to time. And capable of playing the point forward if needed. Make, just make smart, simple plays. Great option to initiate the offense to kind of give you a different look. And both free throws good for LeBron. You know, it really seems strange to say, but as big an impact as LeBron's made as a basketball player, he's making an even bigger impact off the court. His philanthropy, his activism. Tell you what, this guy is a special person. I really believe he's going to be a case study of how an athlete can leverage his stardom, his celebrity, his resources in a way that leaves a lasting, impactful legacy for many, many years to come. Now, here is Holiday. It's Anadokounmpo on the wing. And misses it off the right side of the rim. You, you 
have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Nine feet out. Rebound, Milwaukee. And Both Smooth is going to pick up the foul. First personal That's foul. his first foul. First team foul. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. On offense here, the Bucks. They trail by one. Holiday, the pass to Anadokounmpo. Holiday with it. Bucks passing it around. Takes the 13-footer. And that Giannis, one drops. And you know, when this shot is available, Giannis takes it. And I like how simple he keeps things in doing so. James finds Harris. Bucket is good. Just sort of looking at the standings here, Greg, midseason. Do you think the conference system still holds any relevance? Listen, I think for travel distance, it makes sense to continue to have divisions and conferences. But in the perfect world, I think we'd love to see, hey, let's just see them 1 through 16 and determine who's Giannis, truly the best. Well, well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. And the contact can't shake Curry's shot. The mechanics he has, just too strong for that. Here's Middleton. Knocked loose. Portis. And they convert at last on attempt number three. Guys, no one team gaining control early on. Yeah, and you look at the lead changes. Six already. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's Holiday, and it's another Milwaukee Ooh. shot right there going in. There you see the creativity. Holiday is so good at reading pick and rolls and breaking defenses down. It's hard to corral him when he's got the ball in those situations. And just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. Holiday against Curry. Shoots. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. Holiday's gone two of four from the field. Fires for three. DiVincenzo with the rebound. And here we go. Holiday heading to the hoop. And another basket for Milwaukee. Boy, good reaction in transition from Holiday that time. Sees the fast break forming and is right there to finish it off. Curry dishes to James. Here's Smooth. Second chance shot. And the Rejection by Giannis. Here's the break. Jumps up. A big dunk at the end of the break. And that's such good work to make this a one possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. To the paint. Here's Middleton. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Middleton's got seven points in the game. Here's Curry. And the rejection by Anadokounmpo. Hey, when Giannis is lurking nearby, you got to be careful because his wingspan can erase a lot of shots. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Anadokounmpo. Lopez, he's checked in for the Bucks. Here's Curry. Yes, that goes in. Six points for him. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Bucks leading by three. Giannis passes to Middleton. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the pay. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. And the rejection by Giannis. LeBron with the bucket. 32 seconds left here in the first quarter. Middleton the pass to Lopez. Down low. And the bucket is good. Three-point play yes. chance here for him. First person yeah, the chemistry ball. has been terrific. Really impressed the line, the with their pass. offensive execution. Chris, you know, the defense has One really shot. been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. And that one falls for Middleton. And Middleton, the former second-round pick now, has put a lot of work in on his game. It's a ton of work. Really carving out a nice spot in the league as a result of his hard work. 
punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. Hey, guys, this is going to be fun now. I mean, we've got ourselves a shootout. Oh, mm -hmm. mercy, mercy me. And when the Greek freak takes flight, I mean, he's looking to tear that rim apart. So ferocious in his throwdown. And it's good, but hold on. The officials may want to look at that one on the replay monitor. And it looks like they are going to review the play. The question, did he get the basket off in time? And the footage relayed to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus, I, I, I think he got it off in time. The, re the replay leaving little doubt. But to me, it's worth being certain. And that's why we have replay to get these big calls right. And the call is going to be overturned. The second look shows that he did, in fact, beat the clock. Yeah, they're glad they're going to get those points. It wasn't too long ago that they wouldn't even have looked at it on the monitor. But replays here, and it's here to stay in situations just like that one. Chris Middleton has been on display for the Bucks. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. Back to the action after this word. enjoyed the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one and guys let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Bucks. well you have to admire their intensity in the paint defensively I mean really contesting and even blocking shots definitely a factor early and it doesn't look like they'll be giving up on any plays tonight either their offensive rebounding has also been equally as impressive and now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups on the court for the Bucks. The big men on the floor, Giannis and Lopez. Holiday and Connaughton are the guard. And it's Middleton in at the small forward position. And something we've seen the last few years, boxing ones thrown at Curry, Chris although they've had mixed Curry. success. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Somebody you can count on. He is an extremely reliable finisher. The foul on Joe Harris. That's foul number two for him. Milwaukee making a switch. Allen's checked in. Grayson Allen. Defense the home team, trailing by two. Floats one up, and it's good on the way in. Allen's got his first points in this one. And amazing to even consider using a box in one in the NBA, isn't it, Greg? But Curry does that with his offense to the teams that defend him. Kevin, I, I agree, and it, it did work well in the 2019 finals. Curry has started to adjust to that look. Much harder to use when Curry has other options on offense. Here's Holiday. And Curry pulls it down. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. Here's LeBron and the dunk by James. You know, a six foot eight with the ball skills that James has, he handles it like a guard. He can get wherever he wants to off the dribble. Curry against Howard. Pass to Connaughton. Harris on the double team. Over in the corner, on to Kumbo. Lopez kicks to Allen. They get it again. Second shot opportunity. And Giannis with the nice bucket inside. On to Kumbo's got eight points. Persistence pays for Giannis there, using his athleticism and those long arms, second chance opportunities for his team. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. One shot. And that drops, so they now lead by one. Greg, you played on one of college basketball's all-time super teams. It's hard to imagine we'll see that kind of dominance over several seasons like you guys had at UNLV. It's true, and we still see dominant teams, but 
you know, the difference is now that the most talented teams tend to only play together for one season. And, and so that makes it really hard to run together stretches where you can call yourself a legitimate dynasty. But I still love where our game is and look forward to watching these young men chase their dream. Here's Connaughton, quickly covering. Lopez, no luck. LeBron against Allen. LeBron passes to Smooth. Back to LeBron. Here's Smooth. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight Ooh. on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Oh, that's some fancy ball handling right there since when does he take guys off the dribble? Harris passes to Smooth. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First personal foul, second team foul. At the line for your home team. And he can't get the first one. Milwaukee making a switch here. Wara checked in. That one is no good. You don't see him have too many of those trips to the line. And Greg Giannis is such a handful on the offensive end. You know, teams have no choice but to follow. And it is hard because Giannis knows how to oh, oh, that was oh. terrific. It never gets old seeing LeBron throw it down, especially when he decides to do it with a little flavor. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. Curry against Holiday. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one is on Holiday. And how about foul. mixing it up inside there? Steph, still a threat. That nimbleness he has helps him to get that shot off. And the Bucs with some changes. Portis is checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Allen. Milwaukee. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. He's really taking it to him inside. They got to find a way to slow him down. against Holiday. Laura, the pass to Holiday. Over to the wing. Here's Nora. The putback. It's good on the putback. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Portis has gone three for three from the floor. Passes it to James. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Yeah, and, and I, I like this call because you want the ref in that situation. If there's any doubt, err on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it was. And this is year one of LeBron's two-year $85 million extension. And, Greg, that will take him through age 38. And that will amount to $435 million in career earnings, the most all-time. And it wouldn't surprise me if he's got a few more years left in the tank after that. Here's Smooth, defended by DiVincenzo. Chalk up two there. LeBron's got 20 points. Tell you what, if he's within sounding distance of the basket, he's going to get his buckets. You can count on that. The pass to Moore. Portis in the post, and he makes good on the layup. Portis has got four points now in the quarter. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Curry shot is off. 
The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Hill kicks to Lopez. The three. And knocks down the three ball. Lopez. Lopez has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. That is certainly a shot that Lopez has added to his arsenal. You've got to respect his ability to knock down three. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. And no need to rush this. Let the clock run down. Yeah, don't give them another possession here. Hill, no good. To the inside. Here's Smooth. Good, and the assist goes assist to LeBron. Chosen one. James has got three assists tonight. Yeah, you know, LeBron is already top ten in career assists, okay? And he's also continuing to rack up the dimes and climbing just about every all-time chart there is in the NBA. And so we wrap up the first half. They're up by nine. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Coach Mike Budenholzer. Coach, probably not the defensive effort you were hoping for thus far. Yeah, no, our defense isn't where it needs to be. I think they're getting open looks. We're overshifting, and then we're not committing to shooters. Um, just not a very good defensive effort so far. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. LeBron James putting in some incredible work. He had 20 points, six rebounds, and three assists. And, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. Well, they've shown a lot of distance in the It's not about getting the quick shots. It's about getting the good shot. And if you want to know how that approach is working, just check out their field goal percentage. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. And he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line. Well, you know, in that first half, it was a common occurrence. He got to the strike time and time again. We've got Emmanuel quickly. Smooth out there with LeBron James. Then it's Curry. And it's Harris in at the three slot. Off the inbound. And the layup by Curry. Curry's got 19 points. Well, he's cooking with grease. He's got things flaming up, looking for an opportunity every time down the floor when he's that hot. And for Milwaukee, long-time yes. teammates Middleton and Giannis, the forwards. At the guard positions, Holiday and DiVincenzo. And it's Portis in at the five, patrolling the paint. Smooth passes to Harris. Here's the three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And that's now 17 points for Smooth. Set up on a platter that time by Harris. A room service dime right there. Here's Giannis. And he drops in the way up off Giannis. the glass. Giannis has got 12 points in the game. Boy, he's really been dominant in this one. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much help. Quickly the pass to LeBron. And the rejection by Giannis. Right side, Holiday. Back to DiVincenzo. He kicks it to Giannis. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. So far, so good to begin this half. They're three for three. Perfect. Here's Smooth, covered by Giannis. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Smooth's got six points in the quarter. Holiday, the pass to Middleton. Back to Holiday. Even Genzo against quickly. And he drives in. They get it back. 
And Giannis gets Giannis it to go. Pretty ball. much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Well, with the addition of Jeru Holiday, this Bucks team has gotten even better. Giannis Adentacumpo said, we've got a lot of talent and great players. I really believe in this group. As long as we stay healthy, we'll find a way to compete every night and give ourselves a chance. Guys? David, they're stacked, that's for sure. Thanks. Bucks trail by 10. DiVincenzo with it. Pass to Portis. And stolen by James. Shoots over DiVincenzo. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. I think LeBron is best shooting the ball off the dribble. His accuracy, spot on. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Quickly covering. We know how good a shooter he is. It's frustrating for him when he's not able to knock down that kind of wide open look. And they'll get another chance. Count it. 22 points for Smooth. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. Now it's time out called by Milwaukee. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. He's checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Now Holiday. He's got eight. And out of the Kumbo with the jam. Love the read there from Ante I mean, his basketball IQ is really impressive when it comes to alley oop attempts. Kevin, I don't think we can overstate how big a deal it was for Holiday to come to the Bucks. I mean, this team went after him hard, and you can see why. He's such a terrific all-around player and a great leader as well. Holiday dishes to Middleton. A shot. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. You know, quite frankly, Middleton is the kind of guy that scores from all over the court. I mean... You just have to give him a little room so he can get his shot off. And he's typically knocking it down. And Holiday was a hot name when he went on the trading block. Bucks paid the big price to get him. And I think trading for him helps secure Giannis long term. Quite honestly, he really does complement this roster. And Holiday kicks to Middleton. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got six assists now in the game. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. Holiday gets the Drew bucket. Holiday. You know, he's often three the setup points. guy, but Holiday gives you just as much, maybe even more, as a terrific finisher. Here's Curry with the three. Taps in the tray. Curry. Curry's got oh, ten three. points here in the second half. Not shy from outside. There, there's no doubt about that. Spreading the floor and getting them up. Oh, team. Love the mentality. Yes, I tell you. Third I know I've never foul. coached, First but team man, foul. playing to win team and being foul. aggressive Bucks. even with the lead as opposed best. to being safe and going yes. into prevent yes. offense, I'll take the former two. all day long. Play to win. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. And finished off by LeBron. Well, just relish and cherish what you're watching tonight, coach. LeBron James going off. We are witnessing greatness. Holiday, the pass to out of the Kumbo. Holiday, guarded by Kirk. And another three Drew for Milwaukee. Holiday. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Took him no time at all on that move. Curry's got 12 points now in the quarter. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Gets it down to Middleton. A three-pointer, no good. Here's quickly. Yes, that's LeBron picking up the assist. James has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. 
Giannis outside. It's off. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. They lead by 14. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. Let's listen in on what Mike Budenholzer had to say to his team in the huddle. Let's be the one that just plays hard. Keep playing through it. Keep playing. Keep playing our game. Here we go. Mike Budenholzer laying it down to his good team, asking a a little bit more from uh, the energy standpoint, more effort from his guys. Yeah, and I mean, I think he sees an opportunity for them to try and, and make a move here. Doesn't want to let that pass by. Jordan and, and there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Stephen Curry's out there with Emmanuel quickly. Then there's Smooth. Then there's Hicks. And it's James in at the center, filling out the middle. And, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Allen. And it's Allen with the jam. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. You know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. And stolen by LeBron. No good on that one. Bucks trail by 10. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. And the turnover again by Milwaukee. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for the Bucks. Hill comes in for Drew Holland. Well, they're really making a point of keeping the ball moving around. That's the key. The D can't focus on one player. And no matter what anybody tells you, that ball will always move quicker than the defender. Pass to Allen. There's the drive. LeBron grabs the miss. James has got 11 rebounds in the game. Yep, it counts. 24 points for Smooth. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Hill, no good. Trying to add a few more points to their lead. And they should just stay with what they've been doing. They grab their own miss. And yes, it's good. Yeah, you know, not normally the guy you see crashing the boards time. there. But Harris giving some extra effort on the rebound. Timeout called the Bucks. Curry with a strong contribution so far in this one. Well, he's been killing them all night, and the defense looks like it's practically packed it in. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, Mike Budenholzer had some advice for the team during the timeout. His emphasis was for more effort on the defensive end. He said we have to do a better job of communicating and helping each other out. They're getting too many easy looks. Let's make it hard on them. Kevin, they're going to have to if they're going to slow down the hot shooting of their opponent. Thank you, David. LeBron, that's a two-pointer, and he drops that one in. LeBron's got 28 points for the game. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Ball stolen. Now here's Hill, the fast break opportunity. Here's Mora. Off target with his three. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. And it seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Even Chenzo passes to Lopez. Lopez. Good find that time by Devin Chenzo. An unselfish player always looking to make the extra pass. It's Curry outside. Even Chenzo with the rebound. Even has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And they go to the intentional foul. First really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but certainly doesn't justify it. 
And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. Curry, good. Tell you what, it's just one of those nights where Curry finds a rhythm and just keeps on flowing. This show never gets old. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Middleton left side. Drops it in from 14 feet away. Middleton's got 22 points. And when he gets in his head that he's going to get to the basket, very little you can do defensively. Giannis outside. Kicks it to Hill. Wide open look. There's Portis. It's hauled in by Harris. Here's Curry. Here's James. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. 30 points for LeBron. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. And, you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. Shots good by Middleton. Middleton really is an amazing shooter. Absolutely amazing, especially from long distance. Count that one's going to be the final dagger. No, These guys that. can now celebrate. And they deserve it. They deserve to celebrate a dominant performance in what's going to be a blowout win. Timeout called the Bucks. They trail by 15. Manassas, 111 left in the fourth quarter. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, LeBron James. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. It must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. And now we can see that when he's at his best, they are a very dangerous team. Going up against the defending champs and getting the job done. You know, that's what you want out of your point guard. Hill is really doing a nice job getting the ball from side to side and not hesitating at all in doing it. And it's just competing. And, you know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Here's Nora, guarded by Harris. Nora can't get it to go. Here's Smooth. Off target from outside. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Matthews against Curry. Hangs and misses. I like that creativity, double clutching to catch the defender on the way down. I can go for that. I can go for that. And the shot goes down. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now. Shooting a terrific percentage from the field. Here's Hill. Plays it up off the glass. Hill. And, you know, when Hill is working the pick and roll, he's got a lot of different ways that he can hurt you. He's very talented. And he's also a good decision maker. And that makes it problematic for the defense. Into the lineup for Milwaukee. And so they get the victory here at home. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Uh, I think they built off that edge of being here and, and play with just a little more confidence than their... Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. So long, everyone.